SGC here. Today's movie review is a oldie, a 2010 Japanese Yakuza film directed by Takashi Kitano, titled Outrage. Starring a lot of people, but I'm just gonna name some off. Like, there's B. Takashi, the director himself, Kipai Shina, Ryo Kase, Tomokaza Mura. And this is a Yakuza film, and to not really spoil it, because this is a total recommended. Right off the bat, I'm saying this is recommended. And I'm not gonna go that much into the plot, but pretty much it's like a Yakuza film where there's misunderstandings between different families and the chairman of one particular family talks to one of his lower subordinates and like you have to deal with this guy that you've been dealing with that I do not like so fix it and then this guy talks to beat Takashi and he's like dude you mess with him a bit but not make that a big deal just splash the water sort of thing and things happen and it gets big that's the story what did I like about this film? The whole hierarchy of Yakuza is really up front here. The family commitment, the father-son as in you as a member, and the chairman relationship is a father and son relationship. Where you value that is your key value. And brothers and brother pack doesn't even compare when it's father and son. So the whole commitment thing and it's the rival gangs and rival families was pretty intense. And also the action was pretty brutal, like it's not action as in gunfight, explosives, whatever have you. Sure there are some of that, but just the brutality of some of the acts that they do here is just pretty intense. And you really see the hierarchiness also as in forgiveness and just to save face and pride in the Yakuza. Also, there's one thing that I really enjoyed here, after I watched I realized there really is not a lot of characterization with all these characters. Like, you get a glimpse of why they are the way they are. Really, when you look back at the whole organization of the Yakuza, you know where their motivations are coming from because they're committed to their cause, they're committed to their family, they're committed to their chairman, their father. Anything he says is golden and you follow it to the T sort of thing. And I really didn't enjoy that. Like, you didn't know why he became a Yakuza. Like, there is no additional background. I said, oh, this is how he became a Yakuza. He was a tormented child, and he became a rough teenager, and then he got into the ranks of Yakuza. But, nope, there's none of that. It's more of a family that's ingrained already, established, and they are here to sit and not be best with. So that's the, pretty much the vibe of the entire film. There's no build-up. There's the more family orientation rather than a individual I'm the boss man sort of thing. One could say that oh that lacked the characterization but I think it was done well because there were so many people within the family that you couldn't really focus on one guy. Sure there was one focus where it was played by Beat Takashi but he was just there to be like a figurehead in his section of his family and there was a lot of other people and yeah so like I've been saying Yakuza hierarchy, Yakuza brutality, like the craziness of being in Yakuza really shines in this film that it's just a pretty intense world. So yeah, there is nothing that I didn't like about this film. The pacing was really nice. It began with a, you know, just a peaceful meeting with Yakuza bosses and they just talk about stuff and then they're like, you gotta take care of that. And it becomes a crazy roller coaster that just goes and up. So yeah, so this came out in 2010. There's actually a sequel called Outrage Beyond. I have no idea what that is about. I totally cannot wait to watch that because I want to compare how it does because it's been two years and also directed by Takashi Kitano. And yeah, so I can't wait. So I totally recommend this Yakuza film. If you have a slight interest in the Yakuza and you don't know where to start with your movies, check this one out for sure because it's a recent one so it's not that hard to get into. Anyway, that is all for this movie review. Outrage. See ya.